Yeah. Hey, you ate your broccoli and that's right. Yeah, that's it. It puts hair on your chest and your eyelashes, okay? All right, uh, Farmington Canyon. How about this for the credit? Ryan Anderson, wow, beautiful shot here. Last night, we did have a little bit of smoke out there towards Tooele Valley simply because we got another little fire, but this is actually uh, Antelope uh, Island here. But some of the smoke snuck north and he captured it. Beautiful little sunset there. Hey, some of the rain totals were impressive in eastern Utah uh, over the weekend, but this was yesterday alone, and a lot of it, again, was eastern Utah. Dutch John up in the northeast corner of our state uh, towards Manila, 44 hundredths, 32 hundredths for Castle Valley. There east of Moab, Green River, Monticello, South Moab, Vernal and LaSalle picking up over a tenth of an inch of rain. So a welcome sight there in eastern Utah. That front is now out into Colorado and Wyoming cold, low-pressure system to our north. That's the one that brought all the snow to the Sierra. No snow for us here. We've got sunny skies today, calm conditions. We'll do it again tomorrow. Dry air in place with high pressure starting to take control over the west. It'll keep things calm for us. And look at the temperatures for today, folks. Yes, I'm not going to kid you here. This is a hint of fall for sure. Uh, 94 in St. George, 90 in Moab, 80 in Beaver, 70s for the high mountain valleys, including Monticello. Montpelier, 70 degrees, 76 in Heber City. You got blue skies, but a couple of showers this morning in Star Valley uh, will break up as we head into the afternoon. 78 Sandy, 77 in Eagle Mountain, and most of Utah County will also be in the 70s. K94 goes up to 98. Guess what? That's the average this time of year. We'll keep it in the upper 90s and maybe even a 100 possible uh, through the rest of the week. Wasatch Front, we've got a 79 today to 89. 88 on Wednesday, lowers to the mid-80s on Thursday, but, I mean, that's a beautiful stretch as we head into our last week of August and our first weekend of college football. Well, we are looking out for...